RTV 6's Hiring Hoosiers is connecting you to jobs, resources, and opportunities to expand your skills. And tonight, we're getting the word out about an opportunity to get face-to-face -face time with inclusive employers. Here's our Meredith Barrick. We are here today with Tiffany Hansen from Indy Pride, and we're going to talk about a really important event that Indy Pride is hosting along with Geico, the Indy Pride Career Fair. Tiffany, thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. And this event is so important. Tell me a little bit why you guys are hosting this. Yeah, so this is our second annual career fair. Um, we started this last year. We have seen a lot more uh, people coming forward with cases of discrimination in the workplace, of the LGBTQ people experiencing that vocalizing that more and more. So we wanted to create an event where we could bring together inclusive employers, employers who are really interested in making LGBTQ people feel welcome in their workplaces, um, bring them together to say, we want you, please apply for jobs with us. We wanna take care of you. We wanna give you career paths. Um, it's also, it's still currently legal to fire someone because wow. they are a member of the LGBTQ community. Um, there are a lot of cases that are going through um, different court systems to fight that. So we're hoping that that will change, but it's also still legal for an employer to fire someone because of that um, kind of cultural community. So, And unfortunately, that's just one challenge that members of the LGBT community face when having a job or when looking for a job. Talk to me a little bit about the challenges that maybe someone who is heterosexual wouldn't think of. Yeah, so even basic things like um, LGBTQ people have to come out to people on a regular basis. So thinking through the interview process, do you tell your employer and the person who is interviewing you that you're a member of that community and risk facing that discrimination mm -hmm. just even before you get your foot in the door? Do you, um, do you ask about benefits? Like benefits is a big thing. Are there, um, is there the same amount of paternal leave as there is a maternal leave right. for um, gay parents? Uh, are there health benefits that are gonna take care of the trans community mm -hmm. and different health needs that they may have? So there's all sorts of different things that are built into the way that we typically experience the employment space um, that may not be inclusive of everyone in our community. And there is a long list of employers here that are participating. Yeah. Tell me, you don't have to name them all, but list off a few of the names and corporations that people might recognize that they could get a job at. Yeah, so we were really mindful about trying to bring employers in that um, transcend a lot of different industries and have a lot of different types of skill sets that they're hiring for so that almost anyone can take advantage of this event. Um, some major employers or some employers that are recognizable obviously would include Geico, um, Ice Miller, which is a really great law firm downtown. Um, we have Delta Fawcett, who is also a really big participant and uh, sponsored our parade this mm -hmm. year. Um, Cummins, Eli Lilly, and company, uh, new fields. So we really have people from all different sectors right. that are coming together um, and that are looking for a variety of different positions. Wonderful. And when is this career fair taking place? Yeah, so this is going to be on Monday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we're going to be at the Indiana Histo Historical Society um, in downtown Indianapolis. So we're nice and centralized to the rest of the city. Wonderful. And if people want more details, if they didn't catch it all right here and now, where can they go for that information? Uh, if you go to IndyPride.org, right on our home page at the very top. We have information about the career fair and if you push that button for more information, I'll take you right to the event page. Great. And we'll make sure to post all the information on hiringhoosiers.com. Tiffany Hansen from Indy Pride, thank you so much. We hope that a lot of people are able to make it out to this great event. Thank you. Thank you, Meredith and Tiffany. RTV6 scopes out opportunities for all ages, but this month hiring Hoosiers is highlighting students transitioning from the classroom to their career. Arliss Donovan gets the scoop on BDTV at the Area 31 Career Center at Ben Davis High School. Karen Simmer worked on this video before graduating earlier this year. I'll talk to people that have also graduated this year and I can show them some of my work and they said, wow, I wish I had this kind of opportunity in high school. He sat in the same classroom as these students who are receiving hands-on experience in television production, an education that will lead to major opportunities. The internship I had this summer was offered to um, college juniors or seniors. So the, the skills that I've learned here are so high and are usually attained by people that are much, much older than me. Like many BDTV grads that came before him, Simmer is continuing his education. He starts at Ball State this year, where he'll work a video job while pursuing a degree in telecommunications. 
We still need to work on our newscast. Instructor Dennis Goins, who spent years working as a news and sports photographer, has been sharing his experience with students for nearly 20 years. The challenge for me is to take that student to make them understand how serious this is. We treat it not like any other class. It is a production facility. Students learn camera operations, news writing, editing, field and studio production. All of the elements it takes to create a professional newscast, like this one featuring BDTV alum and RTV6 weekend anchor, Nicole Griffin. Our students are working in just about every TV station here in Indianapolis. We have students that are working in film production all over the world. And because of the years that we've been here and the success that we've had, we want to continue the legacy of greatness. A legacy that's well known by students who feel fortunate to be part of the program. There's something special about BGTV that you can't get really anywhere else in the country. Working for you, Alyssa Donovan, RTV6. Very cool. Thanks, Alyssa. And Dennis Goins, the instructor, is also a former RTV6 employee. He says they have students from 11 different schools coming to the Career Center for this program. Again, you can find this story and others like it at HiringHoosiers.com. And our Hiring Hoosiers Classroom to Career Initiative continues on RTV6's Good Morning Indiana. Here's a preview of the stories and schools we will be featuring, so be sure to join us all week from 4.30 to 7.00. Well, there may come a time when you feel you've hit a ceiling at work, like you like your job and you don't want to move. So what do you do? Our Hiring Hoosiers career coach is sharing advice about making a breakthrough in your career. Well, sometimes it can seem like there's just no potential for a higher level job or more pay, yet leaving the company can be a big risk. You may be able to create opportunities for growth in the company where you're working right now. First of all, try networking. Additional knowledge could help you grow in your position. Look in the networking groups and free classes to help you improve your skill set. Work One and your local adult education programs like Central Nine offer classes for job seekers who want to grow. There are also free online programs available through lynda.com and Coursera where you can gain valuable knowledge. Many universities also offer free courses to get you started on a career track. Look at nonprofitcollegesonline.com. Networking groups in your community have workshops and weekly meetings where you can meet interesting professionals just like yourself and learn about their career journeys while inheriting a group of new contacts outside your usual circle. It's a great way to build relationships with other people while furthering your career goals. Be sure to ask about new opportunities with your employer. Even though there may be little or no growth in your current role, that doesn't mean it will always be that way. Be that person who always steps up when the team needs you. You never know when something good will come out of it, and your name might be the one they call. Ask your coworkers for professional feedback. Ask some questions like, how did you get to where you are today? And could you keep me in mind if you see an opportunity where I can participate in a project? Let them know that you are seeking new challenges and opportunities for growth. Don't hesitate to talk to your manager about your goals for your career. This is very important because it tells them that you are ambitious and career focused. And you can hear more advice and tips from our career coach plus current job openings at our website, hiringhoosiers.com. We'll be right back.